Observer Live. Mike Semper, VV, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Let's get it out of the way first. The ratings for Raw Monday night, 2.13 million viewers. I'll just read this line for the walnut brains. This should probably solve all of your problems in terms of figuring this out, but it was the first time that Raw has been over 2 million viewers since August 24th, before the start of the NFL season. It wasn't Goldberg. I'm sure advertising Hogan and Flair helped, but I told you this a week ago. The first Raw of January always does well because the football season is over. There is always a bounce back, not necessarily a gigantic bounce back, but in fact, we had a pretty considerable bounce back here, so it was both things, but it wasn't Goldberg. It wasn't a sudden influx of interest in The Fiend and Alexa being burnt. It was that there was no football. And that's the story. Hour one, 2.20 million viewers. Hour two, 2.15 million viewers. And hour three, 2.04 million viewers. So they lost what they usually lose over the three hours. It wasn't a horrible plunge. But those are the numbers for the Raw show. SmackDown did break 2 million when the final numbers came in. They, of course, were going head-to-head with college football playoff semifinal game, which did 18.5 million viewers. So, as I've attempted to note, the rating two weeks ago, which had a lead-in of a giant football game, helped SmackDown. And then going head-to-head with a football game hurt SmackDown because it was football both weeks. It was not the quality of the show. It was not the matches. It was not somebody all of a sudden getting more over. I mean, hello, this is common sense, I would think. Apparently it's not. So those are the numbers for those two shows. Joe Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Presents pretty much all the baby faces went over at Wrestle Kingdom. New Japan's biggest show of the year. Happy endings and non-existent heat. For geeks still complain. Uh, compa- no one's comparing Ghetto to Vince. I, I, that part I'm not going to read. Yeah, you know what? Throughout wrestling history, most big shows ended with a bunch of happy endings. And then you started new programs when the big show was over. Occasionally, you would have a sad ending here and there, but the big show was called the blow-off show for a reason. You know how many years it was before the main event of WrestleMania ended with a heel winning? Let's see, it would have been 15 years, I believe. And you'll never guess who the heel was that won in the main event of the first WrestleMania. Hunter! Hunter, yeah. Yes. There's too much heat. If the if the Vince McMahon of the 80s was still around, I mean, SmackDown probably would be regularly doing 3, 4 million viewers and the same with Raw. But that bloke is gone. Now we've got this weirdo who knows nothing except nothing. I mean, it's like every show, it's just heat. Oh, we got to get some heat. Well, what's the point of the heat? That's, that's like a question, everybody. Why do you get heat in wrestling? What's the point? So hopefully you could pay it off later on. You're trying to that's bait the whole fans point. into giving sympathy and to try to fight next to the baby face that's trying to overcome this stuff. You know, it's a simple good and evil story usually. You know, it's just trying to overcome the person that's screwing you over. So you get heat, you get a little bit close, that person takes it away. You get a little bit close, that person takes it away, and you want to build it to a point where... Hopefully you get it to its peak and not over it, where you go ahead and you have to pay it off. You let the steam come out. You let the explosion happen. The people are happy. And then, of course, you know, the story continues on again. It's really not that difficult. The short answer is you make people mad, and then you make them happy. That's it! Upset. That's it! And then, of course, what we've got today is, well, we get heat, and then it's time to write a new Raw. I can't remember what we did last week. Let's just get a bunch of heat. And on and on and on and heat, 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 heat. I mean, the day that Kevin Owens beats Roman Reigns, let me know. Because it ain't ever going to happen. He's just going to keep getting beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten and beaten. And then he's going to have another rematch of the Royal Rumble. You know what's going to happen? He's going to lose. So where's the payoff? You actually could have done a payoff on Friday when he beat Jey Uso, but you couldn't help yourselves. You had to beat the guy down again. So, yes, that's, that's the heat issue here. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. 
Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.